Lionel Messi, Kevin De Bruyne, Declan Rice. These players are amazing passers of the football. Here's four ways you can improve your passing with our activities. Activity 1. The wall pass. This is a great starting activity to get used to the touch of the ball on any surface. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're on grass, concrete, astroturf or any other surfaces. The ball is always going to behave differently with every single surface that you practice on. On concrete, it's going to bounce a bit more. On actual solid grass, it could bounce a little bit less. On longer grass, it certainly won't bounce as much. So please make sure that you always try and react to the behavior of the ball on each surface. Activity two, side to side. Like the wall pass, we are passing the ball from side to side. However, you can now integrate markers or cones to vary your distance. Now like the first activity, make sure you are always on your toes and ready to react to the ball. If you feel super confident with this guys, then by all means challenge yourself. You can either challenge yourself to a greater distance, so simply move back a cone or a marker. And if that's too easy for you, then try passing with your weaker foot or potentially try alternating your feet for control and passing. Activity 3. Box in, box out. Now, no. if you feel very confident with the last two activities, then give this a try. The aim of the activity is to keep yourself inside the box at all times. This means when you're receiving the pass and when you are also sending the pass. All we are doing, as you can see, send the pass, take the pass back so we're receiving it off the wall and we're going to turn with either our left or our right foot and complete the pass in the opposite direction. <laughs> Activity 4, dribble passes. Right here guys, we can make our activity more like a match. To put it simply, dribble the ball through the cones and then pass to the wall. Once again, receive the pass, dribble through the cones again and pass to either the same wall by alternating with any of our turns or to the opposite wall if you have one available to yourself. That is entirely up to you. However, try to make the pass on one side a little longer than the one on the other. This is to give ourselves better variation of power when striking through the ball. And there we have it guys, four activities to improve your passing. If you've enjoyed today's video then why not give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any brand new content which we have coming over the following weeks. Next week Join us where we're going to talk you through how to keep match fit and how to improve your fitness.